Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I know I literally go on a hiatus every couple weeks. It's fine. I totally got my life together. Today we are doing the 2022 intro of my Panels Eyeshadows project. I started this project over the summer last year and I loved it. I enjoyed it so much. I got a lot out of it. I enjoyed it thoroughly and I'm ready to do it again this year. I actually wanted to film my finale, but I just didn't have a ton of progress. Um, I did have one shade I hit pan on from my last 2021 update. So I will share that shade today because I can't remember if I shared that or not in a different video. Um, but I... I have no excuse. I'm a hairstylist as my day job. I'm very busy in November and December. Honestly, I was not wearing that much makeup because I was standing on my feet for 10 hours a day and really did not want to look cute. So I wasn't wearing very much makeup for the, the holiday season. Um, but now we're back in January. Things are slowing down a bit. I have more time on my hands. I get to play with my makeup in the morning. I got all cute. Oh, I have pink hair. I think this is the first video you're going to see with my pink hair, but I am pretty much going to just follow the same rules as last year's project. I will link that intro as well if you want to check out my rules, but as a quick refresher, randomly selecting five shades from my collection, I get to choose one shade, so a total of six shades that I'm working on. Um, I have a 20 usage minimum goal to roll it out. Of course, the goal is going to be to hit pan. But my overall goal with this project is just to have more use in my collection and not just let things sit here and go to waste. So this is my way of filtering through, actually making sure I'm using things, seeing what I like and don't like. If I don't like something, I can declutter it if I so choose. If I do like something, I can hit pan on it. And yeah, that's pretty much the basis of this video. This video will be a lot shorter than my updates because we're just picking shades. Um, but I think I covered all of my rules. 20 uses, hit pan, uh, usage. I don't think I have any others. Oh, as always, I do reserve the right to decide if I want a shade in the project or not. For example, last year, I had two very deep shades rolled into the project. I'm not going to work on two black shadows at the same time. It's just going to bore me to death. So I do reserve the right to adjust any shades as needed in the project. But other than that, I think that is all. So let's go ahead and do the fun part, which is randomly generating our shades. So as always, we are going to start with our five numbers. So let me roll those and we will go ahead and see what shades they correlate to. First number, 371. I feel like I'm playing bingo. 44. Like an auction or bingo. 687. 1, Five seven and the final one one five five five. Okay, well, let me pull up those shadows. I am very excited for you all to see the shades I got, especially those of you who watched last year and just enjoy my not being able to put shades together because this is a very interesting selection and my heart hurts a little bit, not gonna lie. So I went out and pulled all the palettes out that we are going to be using this month. And one of my biggest fears in this project is pulling out my limited edition items. Um, I have a very large collection and I do like to collect limited edition things. So it should not come as a shock that I pulled limited edition products into, into this project. It hurts my heart a lot though. Not gonna lie, it really does. But that's the name of the game. We're here to pan things. We're here to use the collection and not let it sit here. So let's go ahead and start with the shadows that I pulled. The first shadow I pulled comes from my ColourPop Hocus Pocus. This is the Gather Round Sisters palette. And the shade I got is Hello Salem, which is this pretty mauve kind of transitioning neutral shade up here. It's actually not a bad shade and I think a great selection for a first shadow in this project. I really like this color and honestly this is one of my favorite shadows in this palette so I'm not mad. I am kind of sad though that it is in my Hocus Pocus palette but again I don't need to just let things sit there. I need to actually use them. Very pretty though. It almost looks like this uh, lipstick shadow Hug Me by MAC. My favorite lipstick. Okay Shadow number two comes from 
another limited edition palette, my Anastasia Prism palette. And the shade that I selected is Eternal. I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's this bronze shade at the bottom. Not a bad shade. Reminds me a lot of Jolly from uh, the Midnight Masquerade palette, which is a shadow I'm working on in my A2Z Project Pan. These shades are looking oddly similar to those right now, actually. So we'll see how that goes. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. I don't know yet. Shade number three is actually a shade that we worked on last year. I didn't think that I would pull a shade from last year's project because I do have so many eyeshadows, but I did pull Wind from my Anna Frozen 2 palette. So Wind is this guy up here. I did make a lot of progress on this one last year, but I am excited to jump back into it and see if I can make more progress. It's a good shade, not gonna lie. It's a really nice, pretty brown shade. So I think that's kind of fun. It's something I've already done a little bit. I already know how to work with. And now I'm working on several shades in this palette, which is very interesting. So I'm excited about that. It's nice to have less palettes filling up my everyday drawer. The fourth shadow I drew comes from my Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. This guy's huge. And the shade I got was Monarchy, which trying to find. Oh, okay. It's this beige, grayish, tan shade at the bottom. I'm going to have to put this down because it's too big to hold. Um, definitely definitely a little different. I will be honest, this color story is a little boring, but it's the boring shades that you can work into just about any type of look. So it should be pretty easy to work on some of these shadows. Not too bad. Um, and then the last shadow I drew, and this breaks my heart, my Melt Beetlejuice palette. I'm not gonna lie. The other ones, I could care less about. Hocus Pocus, okay. ColourPop does so many collabs that one day I'm gonna get a new one anyway. But this masterpiece hurts my heart. The shade I got though is Lost Souls, which is this bright purple at the bottom. I do think it'll be a fun shade. Uh, these are super pigmented because I think they are pigments instead of eyeshadows. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is considered an artistry palette instead of a shadow palette. Um, but that is what the purple looks like. It's actually a really fun shade. Not gonna lie. It's a fun shade. Kind of hurts though. As for my individually selected shade, I am gonna cheat a little bit and use another shadow from last year's project. One that I'm actually, I think, pretty close to hitting pan on, which is Stay Current. It is this deep plummy black shade. I had this in for several rotations of last year's project and I am determined to hit pan on it because I made so much progress, I refuse to put it down. So this is the overall color story of the month. I'm very excited, I can't wait. And I do have to show you the one pan that I have from last year's project that I don't think I shared. And that was from my Jawbreaker Jeffree Star palette and the shade Orange Juice, which is this one right here. I hit pan in Orange Juice. I'm very excited about that because these are extremely difficult to hit pan on, and I used the living daylights out of the shade. In fact, I think the only reason I hit pan was because I accidentally scraped too hard with my brush and a lot of it crumbled out. So it was, it was a journey. It was an emotionally heavy journey but I'm excited to have Pan and I'm excited to work on my new shades. Let me know what shades you guys are working on this year. I can't wait to see what everyone is working on. And if you do this project as well, let me know. I would love to check out everyone else's videos and binge watch some panning content. So it was so great chatting with you all today. I can't wait to see what progress we make this year and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye friends.